a storm? I'm not sure exactly which it is. It's being rained on in Florida. Sunshine today. I'm a little cold. Imagine hundreds and hundreds of people hundreds behind us. That's what it would have looked like if it was raining. I right, step in the puddle. What are you doing, Florida? You step in the puddle. I have my very own souvenir poncho. You guys should try it without the poncho. It feels a lot nicer. <laughs> How's that working for you, dude? Rock the Quad is brought to you by Ziploc Double Zipper Bags. Ziploc's tightest seal ever. Be seated. Good afternoon. Some days in my job are better than others, and this is a very good day. As you know, we're here to formalize the adoption of the minor child, Jamie Vega, by her stepmother, Jessica Buchanan Vega. It's always a happy occasion when someone makes a commitment to the life of a child. Adoption is one of the most sacred foundations of the family court. Antonia and Jessica, please rise. I have spoken to Antonia and Jessica, read the adoption petition, and found it to be satisfactorily completed. All that's left is for Jessica to declare her intention. Mrs. Vega, is it your desire to adopt Jamie Vega? Mrs. Vega, did you hear me? Is it your desire to adopt Jamie Vega? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Jess. saying that you don't want to go through with the adoption? Came in here. 
Want some coffee? Uh, no thanks. Tough day at the hospital? Usual. Because you left so early, I figured that you probably had a big day. I... I had a long-distance conference call. From Pakistan? Well, no, it's Bhutan, actually. So, I guess that means that you're going to take that job. How is it? Oh, not bad. Patrick thought Irish beer tasted much worse in the States. You don't talk about it much. It's be hard, I guess. I talk about him with Cole. Yeah, sure. I mean, you want to keep his memory alive for your kid. He had a great sense of humor. And a great smile. Cole has his smile, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, although he doesn't use it that much these days. Well, he's a teenager, you know. Teenagers don't smile much. Yeah, and you would know. No. Can you figure out what they're doing with their pants, you know? The underwear showing the belts around their knees? He's... He's not a bad kid, you know, Marty. No, he's a good kid. He's just making a lot of mistakes. Yeah, well... Welcome to the rat race. Not to... That's a hard hand in life to be dealt, you know, him losing his father. I guess you can relate. Did you have someone who, um, you know, helped out when your father was killed? Uh, yeah, the old man's partner, Pete. He was a good guy. He used to, he used to check in on Mike and me, you know, make sure we weren't screwing up too much. Do you think it would be possible and... You can say no if I'm slipping over the line here, but do you think you could do that for Cole? Uh, I, I thought you didn't want me, want me around him. Not when you're the arresting officer. It's just you seem to know what's better for him these days than I do. I doubt that. John, I don't know, he listens to you, and I just, I really believe that you might be able to help him, and... And he doesn't listen to anything I say, so, um, I'm sorry, I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I think you know more than you think, you know? And if you think I can help? Thanks. You are the best thing that ever came my way. Mommy feels the same way. You're more important to us than our own lives, okay? It's just... I can't be a good daddy to you right now. When I can, I'll be back. That's a promise. In the meantime, I need you to be strong, okay? Your mommy needs you to be strong. Jamie's so beautiful, she doesn't deserve all the pain that I'm going to cause her. Mrs. Vega, are you absolutely certain you don't want to go through with the adoption? Can I have a couple minutes alone with my wife? There will be a two-minute recess. Then I need an explanation. Mom, what is wrong with Jessica? I don't know, darling. Clint, do you suppose Tess has come back? No, no, I don't think that's the problem. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Does Jessica want to adopt my granddaughter? RJ, I think you just have to give her a minute, okay? You've heard this is about Jamie, and Jamie deserves better than, than Jessica's crazy waffling. Okay, my sister is not waffling. That's what it sounds like to me. Well, you're wrong. Well, then you must be going deaf. All right, all right, all right, stop it, both of you. Now, Jesse and Antonio will figure this out. Clint is right again, as usual. Do you know what this is about? Afraid so. Do you want to explain to me what went on in there? I love Jamie so much. I know. Why did you tell the judge you can't adopt him? Honey, please. 
please. Listen to me. Just what's wrong. I didn't plan any of this, but I just... This morning, um, you didn't say anything about taking that job. That's because this morning I was planning to tell the organization no. What changed your mind? Well, when I was waiting for the call, I was hanging out in the doctor's lounge and... Oh, the TV was on. I read about that on the news, the, uh, the cholera outbreak. No child should be dying of cholera in this day and age, or diphtheria, or tuberculosis. When the call came, I... You said yes. Please understand. No, I do. I do. Uh, you're honoring Hugh's memory. Yes, and... I'm trying to make up for the mistakes I made with Spencer. How long are you going to beat yourself up about that? I don't know. What if you stop? When was the last time you got to jump over puddles, huh? At our house when it burned down. Right, okay, well, we're here, and we're going to stay and talk to your dad. Whatever. Hey, are you getting all sullen with me? You stop talking, Mark. I will when you promise to start talking to me and your dad. There's nothing to talk about. Oh, right, yeah. Nothing like our little fire that completely burned down our house with everything in it. Well, maybe you need to talk about it. Hey, listen... I have to check this. Just go tell your father that I'll be in in a minute, and we are going to talk about the fire. All right. All right. Hey, I love you. I know. Yeah, I love you. Love you, too. Go. I'm going. Please tell me that ambulance case is giving up. So nothing I say can change your mind. It's something I really feel I have to do. How long will you be gone? Well, I committed to three months in Bhutan, but if they need me, I'll stay longer. You're leaving? Thanks, Mac. You got it. Just say it. Excuse me? You've been giving me that look for a while now. Uh, what look? That look. No, I haven't. I mean, it's none of my business. It's one that stopped you before. It's just, you know, on a night like tonight, it's raining and, I don't know, you like to be curled up in front of a fire with someone you love. I'm not sure, but is that a roundabout way of asking me how I'm doing without Natalie? Yes. How are you doing without Natalie? Are you expecting someone? Hang out here a lot, you know, at Rudy's. Oh. Yeah, we can go someplace else if you no, want. No, why? You know, beer's good. Uh, pool cues aren't completely warped. Well, now, is that an invitation? I'm not sure I want to play games with you, Doc. You are always so thoughtful about sparing my feelings. Mm -hmm. Actually, darts. Used to be my thing, Patrick. Oh yeah, darts. Mm -hmm. Who's better? Who do you think? Well, there's Irish, right? So I'm thinking that was in his blood. I will have you know, my picture is on a wall in a bar in County Cork. That's in Ireland. Gee, I had no idea. Are you laughing at me? Haven't you heard? I don't laugh. Well, you won't be after I beat you. Are you challenging me to a game of darts? Are you afraid? Of you? Mm -hmm. No. Wait, you should be. Very afraid. 
Yes, we're a family, and I love you guys so much that I, I can't do this. Honey, what is this? If I adopt Jamie, if I become her mom, I'm just, I'm going to hurt her, and I'm going to hurt you. I am so How, sorry. I'm so sorry. Can we just drop it, Antonio, please? Please. Yes. Yes, let's just drop the whole thing. You want to tell Jamie or shall I? Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to get out of here. I have to get out yes. of here. I can't breathe. What is please. wrong? I can't breathe. No. Jesse, what's wrong? Breathe. Help me. Honey, is it Tess? No. I don't know. She's not making any sense. Oh my god. Is she hallucinating? She needs a doctor for this. Well, I'm a doctor. Let me have a look at it. Yes. Get away from me! Everybody, leave her alone. Mommy? Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. Jessica. No, Antonio. No, leave her alone for a minute. Let her go. See, the thing is, I guess I'm just a selfish guy. Because I don't want Jessica to live happily ever after with Antonio. I want to live happily ever after with Jessica and you. You know? <laughs> oh, Jessica, why did you give up so easily? three months, maybe more. I know that seems like a long time right now, but, you know, she'll be back before summer vacation's even over. You said you might stay longer. We can email. My computer burned up on fire. Yeah, but your grandpa just bought you a new one. Whatever, it's not the same. <sighs> okay, your mom wanted us to uh, talk about school and about your attitude. <sighs> Now, your, your grades are going down. Uh, you're not getting your homework done. Do I have to go back to school? What's going on at school? My teachers treat me like I'm five years old. They feel sorry for me because my house burned out. Now my friends are starting to make fun of me because of the way the teachers are treating me. All right, I'll talk to your teachers about that. But, son, you have to focus on your schoolwork. Why does everything have to change? It's just part of life, Matthew. Not everyone's life. Why can't people stay together? Why did Jen have to die? Oh, son. Why does some crazy guy have to burn your house down just because he's a different religion or color Matthew, of yours? I know it's not and fair. And if people like you, why can't they stay and be with you? Hey, what's going on? Okay, ladies first. Age before beauty. Nice. I don't know, you sound a little hesitant, a little chicken. No, I just don't want to make you nervous. I think I've thrown dice before. Oh, you really? A poison one that hurt? I always read them their rice first. Very simple of you. Oh. Amateur. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I'll tell you what. You're better than the amateur. Oh, blindfolded with a hand tied behind my back. Well, that's an interesting picture. Are you afraid of being beaten by a woman? Should I be? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, of course. I'm, I'm getting way back. Uh huh. <coughs> you trying to distract me? Nah, I think you got this game pretty locked up. It's because I'm a legend. It's because you're four feet over the line. <laughs> you win because you cheat, lady. Mom, what is wrong with Jessica? I don't know. 
Adoption is a huge decision, sweetheart. Uh, yes, but people don't have meltdowns because of it. I mean, look at Marcy and Michael with Tommy. Yeah, well, Jesse has a lot on her mind right now. Well, we all do, but you don't freak out in front of the judge. Why don't you let her go? Honey, she needs time and, and, and a little space, you know, to be able to think without everybody telling her what to do. Think about what? Mom. Mom. Yeah, I know. I think when Jessie's ready to tell us what's going on, she will. As you know, Judge, it's, it's been a really stressful year for Jessica, and this whole experience has been a bit overwhelming. I hear you, Antonio, but adopting a child is overwhelming for everyone. You assured me that this was merely a formality, so I put you on my docket as a personal I, favor. I, I know, and I appreciate it. This, this is more than just our friendship. I mean, we're talking about a child's future. I, there's no one more aware of that than I am. Look, we've known each other a long time, but this kind of behavior, it doesn't fly in the court. And it won't happen again. I promise. Personal feelings aside, if it does, I will deny the adoption. And I'm also going to review the case. See if your wife needs another psychological evaluation. Look, that, that won't be necessary. She's just tired. Look, this is my call and I take it very seriously. Tired is not a good enough excuse, Mr. Vega. You okay? What do you think? That Jessica really screwed up. What were you guys talking about in the house? That she loves Jamie, but she can't adopt her. Did she say why? You tell me. You've been meaning to talk to me about Jessica for the last couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden you drop it. Well, I just didn't think it mattered. You know, that's fool. She asked you to drop it. I don't see Jessica these days. Yes, I noticed. Why? Look, you and Jessica used to be friends. Now all of a sudden you can't even look at each other. Now the funny thing is, she's acting the same way around Nash. It's not the yeah, same. Yeah, how's it different? Come on, man. You know, all of a sudden, Christian, I'm starting to think that you know more about what's going on with my wife and with Nash than I do. The man that I love. You are not listening to your own heart. Look at me. I am in my wedding dress. I'm about to go to the church to marry the man of my dreams. My dream. Don't marry him. Don't marry Antonio. What are you going to do when you're walking down the aisle and you see Antonio at the altar and me standing right beside him? If you're as integrated as you say you are, then you are ignoring a big part of yourself. A part of you which is so precious. So beautiful, so wild and exciting. He doesn't love that part of you. You're integrated, which means you're a new person. And until you and Antonio understand that, this wedding is doomed to fail before you even get to the altar. I want to know what I did to make number one in your little hit list. Mark, what did I do to make hit list? Why? Yeah. Well, because if I don't hate you, then then then, then, then what? Then what? It's true. You really do love Nash. Well, I guess it is, you know, because that's what I wanted to say and do in my dying moments. I want you to write down, without thinking, the name of the man you want to be with. Not the man you think you should be with, but the man that you see yourself spending the rest of your life with. I heard you're going to adopt Antonio's little girl. Who told you that? It's Antonio. What? It's going to be just that much harder, isn't it? The only thing that's going to make this better is if I put as much distance between us as possible. Done.
Give it up for yourself. Woo! What character would you like most to have a love scene with? We're really lucky to be on the show with the hottest girls. I'm lucky to gaze into Julie Berman's eyes all the time. I guess to put that out in the open, I think I want to put it out in the open. Julie Berman. Woo because you know, like Spinelli, Lulu. I think it's, I think it's maybe a good thing. Rock the Quad is brought to you by Ziploc Double Zipper Bags. Ziploc's tightest seal ever. I didn't know, I swear. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Hi. Satisfied. Since the fourth grade. Oh, am I kidding? You'll never be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Just throw the damn dart. Watch and learn. Yeah, yeah. Well, some people are legends in their own mind. Oh, oh boy, all right, let's go ahead and move forward as close as you want. Now get right up in there, okay? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Just throw the thing. Ow! Oh my god, I am so sorry. You are so cut off! It's unbelievable, I can't take you anywhere. Is there something you want to say to me? Daddy? Does Jessica want to be my mommy anymore? Of course she does. I'm, uh, I'm going to take a walk with her, okay? Yeah. What is going on between your brother and Jessica? Vicky, did you get a hold of her? No, she's not answering her phone. Do you know where she went? I have no idea. I mean, I never dreamt she was getting the car and, and, and drive away. Obviously, I shouldn't have let her go. She could be anywhere now. You're right. She could be driving around in the rain. Are you certain that um, Tess hasn't made a reappearance? Well, I'll tell you something. I am not certain about anything, but I can't take this anymore. I'm going to go look for her. Vicki, do you want to come with me? Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. Come on, let's go. Antonio, um, I'm going to go look for Jesse. I will. You know, Jessica loves you very much. Okay? She, she wasn't feeling well. And uh, she didn't want to make you sick, so she left. Really? Cross my heart. It may start raining. Big pink elephants. Hi, Jay. Look who's here. Hey, darling. What the? Oh, Jessica. Officer Greer's given him a video magazine, so... Would you mind telling me what happened? I decided to accept this job in Bhutan, and I was telling Bo about it, and Matthew overheard. Paige, you can't underestimate how much he cares about you. I'm crazy about him, too. I, I was hoping to find a better time to tell him. And I hoped that I could convince Paige to stay. And that's not happening, is it? I'll be back. I don't think Matthew's in a place right now where he can believe that. You know, he's lost a lot. I want to talk to him. Is, is that okay? Sure. Yeah, I think he'd like it. All right. Okay, so this is me, not nagging. We will find the guy that set those fires, Nora. Our kid needs a win here, both. You know, when I was in medical school, I had this professor, Dr. Wickstrom. He was really tough, and he hated me for some reason. He just, he would always embarrass me in front of my patients. He was really trying to get me to quit. But you didn't. 
No, I didn't want to give him the satisfaction. So at the end of the semester, even though he couldn't stand it, he had to give me an A. So you mean you're not going to leave Bhutan even if you hate it? That's right. And this isn't because me and my dad did something wrong, is it? Matthew, are you kidding me? No. No, of course not. This has nothing to do with you. I love you. I love your dad. Not as much as those kids in Bhutan. I wish I could find some way to... I get it. You're helping sick kids. It's great. I have a going away dinner for you. Matthew. Do you think the bartender's okay? Also, a guy break a pool cue over his head. He'll be fine. Yeah, but I could have put his eye out. Or something else. It uh, wouldn't have been the first time it happened. Really? What, what happened to the legend? Oh, I am. She's not for accuracy. Not for all the times you missed? I was banned from one pub. Only one? It's not funny. Uh, forget about it. She's a game duck. You know, I, I would think after all the times that I have played that I could at least get a few good shots in. Oh, well, didn't this guy, Patrick, didn't he give you any pointers? He never helped. Oh. I mean, he would always, you know, stand behind me and help me line up my shot. He would whisper in my ear. I'm sorry. You know, it's the time zone. What? Yeah, um, I, I play great in Ireland. Here, it just, right. it's messing up my aim. A lot better in Ireland, yeah. Yeah, seriously. Well, it's a good thing you never turned pro. Yeah, because then I have to live my life there. Yeah. Yeah. More bartenders to tell about it. True. You know, I did learn one thing tonight, though. Yeah, what's that? That the Titanic McBain has a sense of humor. No, I don't. Hmm. And don't ever let it get out. Well, it'll cost you. You're not going to tell me, are you? Mommy, uh, Jamie's with RJ. Could she stay with you tonight? Of course. You want me to pick up Reed, too? No, no. She's uh, she's with the sitter. But listen, Jessica and I, we, we have some heavy-duty stuff we need to hammer on. It's probably best the girls aren't around. I'll go now. Okay. Look, whatever's going on, don't lose your tempers. Be patient and listen. I love you. Both of you. What's that about? She thinks Jessica's change of heart has something to do with Nash. Not because Bree's their daughter? It's more than that. Well, what's that supposed to mean? That Jessica and Nash share more than a daughter. Son, so uh, we can talk in the car, okay? You can bring the magazine with you. Now, nah, might get burned. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I didn't charge you for the beer, but if I have to get a tetanus shot, I'm sending you the doctor's bill. I am so sorry. Thanks, man. No, 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 I should pay for it. Look, you just you can get the next one, all right? I uh, I come here a lot. I want to be able to keep it that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, look, if we uh, 
if we go out the back, I don't think we'll get us wet. You really do know this place. It's nothing to be proud of. I'm sorry. I thought John was here. Oh. Well, you just missed him. Huh? He went out the back with a lady. If you hurry, you can probably still catch him. That has nothing to do with Jamie, so how is that connected to what happened here today? It's complicated. Well, explain it to me. Jessica spends a lot of time around Nash. Yes, I noticed. I thought you liked the guy. And you hired him to work at Capricorn. To keep him away from my wife. Look, Christian, what the hell happened with my wife here today? Well, then somebody's going to pay. Tell me what you know, Christian, now. I can't lose you! 